Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where today we are praying for a rainy day. Um, I think I might be able to see a weather... Do we have a weather forecast? On this computer? I don't think we do. I could have sworn there was a weather chip for it. Maybe not, maybe not. But uh, let's have a quick look at the forecasts. So we're still looking for the jellyfish. And I think it was a monkfish as well. Ah, we find that at the night and the evening in the forest ocean. Forest ocean. Oh, okay. That's down by the giants. Um, so the estuary and the lighthouse, four o'clock onwards for the jellyfish. Is there anywhere where the jellyfish show up at a different time? Nope. Nope. It doesn't look like it's a rainy day today either. It's another... It's another dry day. Sad times, but never mind. Let's have a look at my mail, shall I? Hi there! Couldn't help but notice how awesome you are at catching insects. I'm so glad you've been using the welcoming gifts we gave you when you moved in. To keep that momentum going, I'm gifting you an insect house. You'll be able to breed insects and become a true bug, ca bug catching master. Keep having fun, Eleanor. Wow! Inventory is full. <laughs> okay. I think I need to sell a few bugs. And I can promise you right now, none of these bugs are ones that, uh, that I need right now. I've got a whole load of... Oh no, they need to go in. I've got loads of stuff to plant. Uh, basically. And I need to go get my hook back. So I'm just going to plant things just wherever. I'm not really worried about where they go. I honestly don't think I'm even going to fill all of the plots. Like I say, part of me was going to like upgrade, but then I'm like, oh, but should I? Should I really? Upgrade to massive fields and loads and loads of produce. You could definitely do that if you wanted to. But it's like, but do you want to? Is is that is there enough interest in that? I don't know. You can have a massive farm, it can be all automated, you can have automated everything, doing everything for you. And that certainly does interest me. I do want to get all of the automation things in and try them. But do we need massive plots to do that with? Oh no! Well, let's hope I can get my hook back today then. In fact, saying that, I'm going to head across to the Sanchez's place and uh, just go and grab that back. Do I start on my pickaxe yet, though, is the question. Ugh, it's not open till 9. What? It's 8.30. What? Let's go check one of my bug traps around here, then. Maybe some of the ones on the beach. I want to be careful if I go to the beach, though, because uh, I've had moths run away from me, and uh, I was really upset then. Oh, what were you? Were you a tiger beetle? You better not have been. I bet you were. you anything that was a tiger beetle uh, I've got my trap down there that's got nothing in it yet that one has a stupid mantis in it and that one has a stupid cricket in it how annoying so nothing useful at all at the moment 
We'll keep looking and then I need to start fishing for the jellyfish in the night time. Yeah, I'm not seeing any butterflies or anything like that around here today, sadly. That's one I already have. I think it was a tiger beetle that was running around. I can only do one thing at once, so am I doing fish or am I doing other things, you know? That's what I need to decide. Ooh. Let's see if I can creep up on you. Tiger beetle! I wouldn't have been able to do that with anything short of a net that big. That was amazing. Right, now back to the Sanchezes. Oh, museum, actually. Then we'll go get our hook off the Sanchezes. Let's put that tiger beetle in. Now I just need to get a yucca moth. So I might need to make some flying traps for that, or I could try and grab it manually, but it might be a bit more difficult. Oh, my pink diamond. So that's two things for the museum today. I keep finding new things for the museum, just not many of them at once. Um, the catching's going really well. I gave myself a point in foraging. I so need to do more combat. <laughs> like, but they need to put more combat in. I don't. There's not enough combat for me to do, really, is there? Combat's like nothing. Um, Salt price, scent lasts longer, doubles. I'm gonna do scent last longer just in case I need to use scent. The rest I'm okay, I've got enough money, I don't need to have doubles. La la la. Chance for regular trees to drop hardwood, might do that one. Those of you that were moaning that you couldn't get enough hardwood, that's a good one to have, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, as far as town rank is concerned, museums at 131 points out of 251. 90 points would be 30 things. Still needing about 120 points, so still needing about 40 things in here. Hoping to get two more today. There's potentially three more insects and things that I can get. But if I could complete a collection, that would make a huge difference. Because that would suddenly boost me up 40 points. Three collections done and I'd be at an A level. It's just a bit of a rough one right now. Okay, Mr. Pablo, can I please have my hook back? Thank you very much. Osmium scythe, perfect. And what would we need if I if I so wanted to uh, upgrade my pickaxe? Five osmium bars and five hardwood. Okay. I'll go back and see if I've got those. Because we should get. I should get them. I I would like to get all of the stuff upgraded if I can, as much as I can. Um. Okay. We also need to try and see if I can find a firefly. I'm really glad I caught the tiger beetle though, that was really cool. But honestly, osmium tools are just like kind of quite a nice to have. But they're not actually essential. It'd be nice to have a row of purple tools though, wouldn't it? So I will try and work on that. I need the scythe just to clear this grass. And I need to get some grass from Sam as well, don't I? Obviously I've got this insect house now. 
Um, oh, thank you. Walter sent me some wine. Very nice. All right, can my insect thing go here, maybe? Insect house? I don't think that should go in the shed, to be honest. Actually, I don't need to do that, do I? I always forget that I can change around the tools. Hmm, it's quite large, okay. Can it go here? It can go there though, okay. That's fine by me. Um, under construction, okay. I can move it around with the architect table if I need to. It'll be fine there for now. Oh, don't make me use my watering can. I hate it when crops are like out of sync with each other. It drives me mad, so I'd rather they weren't. Yeah, I wouldn't actually mind having something that automatically like did this for me with this much stuff, but I think I will do that. I'll do I'll get the scarecrows and the automatic planters in. Uh probably do that when we come back from hiatus though. Final, final soybean. Um, when we come back from hiatus, I'll just maybe look at automating all of the farming completely. I think that could be quite cool. A singular soybean. Okay, so what have we got down here? What can I put in there? Daisies. And now it's getting to around the time of day where we're going to want to go and start looking for the jellyfish. So I think we should do that. I haven't fertilised anything. The only thing that I would really bother fertilising at this point would... Oh, maybe I should fertilise the cauliflowers. Now then, I have to have... Is it an empty hand? Or was it the watering can or something? And then I could press shift and it would tell me, is it the hoe? Watering can, is it the... Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember where I put my cauliflowers. The likelihood is there will be one cauliflower at least that has uh, that is osmium, so I shouldn't worry too much about it. Gosh, these got messed up, didn't they? Alright, let's go and see if we can catch the jellyfish. So that's going to be down by the lighthouse. So we managed, if we can manage a tiger beetle on both fish today, that'd be great. Then we're just looking for the the moth, and I'd have all spring to do that. And obviously waiting, 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 waiting for my rainy spring day so that I can get catch my gator gar and so we can actually finish off this, this whole thing. So I'm really hoping that we can get that soon. Theo, I swear, Theo's following me around with his guitar. He's just like, la 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 la. It would be nice if it even looked slightly like a jellyfish, but every single one of them looks like a fish. Quality crab catch. And then I need to get into the river estuary for a monkfish at night. Oh, well, you seem fairly lively. Maybe you're a jellyfish. I don't know. No, you're a mackerel. Stupid mackerels. Oh, 
I'm gonna catch one more and then I'm gonna head over to the estuary. That was an interesting one. Are you gonna be another mackerel? You better not be. Oh man. Yeah, all I'm catching here is mackerel. I couldn't quite remember whether it was the lighthouse or whether it was the other place. So what I want to do is go over to the giant's village because I remembered exactly where to catch the monkfish, but I don't remember exactly where to catch the jellyfish, so I'm just gonna maybe try that tomorrow. What are you? Oh ho ho! I found all of my traps and they've all got fireflies in them. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we've done well for the bug catching today then, haven't we? Exceptionally well. So we're looking for a monkfish, looking for a jellyfish, and we're looking for a lunar moth. For a second, I thought that was just going to be a... a piece of trash, and then it started fighting me. I don't know if we'll just get a load of firefish for a while. It's probably quite a rare one, the monkfish. Which is why I didn't just catch it when I was randomly going around the place. But I'm definitely willing to keep trying. Same with the jellyfish. Double mackerel. I could live off a of mackerel in this, the amount I catch. Gee. The other place you can fish around here is I think you can just about get away with fishing off the log, but there, it's never really a very uh, fun experience around here. It was a bit difficult. Yes! Wonderful. So, now what I want to do is pick these guys up and put them on the beach. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Right then. Let's go and put all the fish that I don't need away. And some of the insects that I don't need away. We'll be catching enough insects, don't worry about it. Uh, so I've got my fireflies. I'll have to find out what the, the best selling insects are to make in my insect house. Um, so that's fine. Let's go and grab the flying trout because because I've already picked one up, I don't want it to disappear overnight or anything. And this one, and then we're going to put those on the beach and hope to catch what I need to catch there. Um, and then I'm going to be looking at fashioning traps for under the water as well. I don't think I'll have time to put them on the beach tonight, but I can put them down there tomorrow morning, I think. Okay. No, I don't have time. I would love to have time, but I don't think I have time. Right then, too bad. My place needs decorating so badly. That's definitely going to be something I'll be looking into once uh, I know I don't need the money for anything else. I didn't even go and check on my animals or anything that day. They probably hate me now. <gasps> it's raining! It's raining! I know exactly where I need to go. I'm not going to even worry about anything else today. I need to go here and catch a gator gar. That's all that needs to happen today. Uh, if I can, two. Catch two gator gar. One for the altar, one for the museum. Hey, 
fish. My animals will forgive me, don't worry. I'll catch, I'll, um, once I've caught a couple of these, I'll be able to. I didn't even check the computer. I should be checking the computer. I'm certain it's here, though. Zebrafish. Interesting pattern on that one. More zebrafish. I'm just going to quickly check the computer. I should have let the animals out yesterday, but they don't even have any grass. I haven't even bought them grass. Oh, catfish now. When do we get a gator gar then? Is it in the temple lake? Oh. I need a snake head as well. Okay. And the catfish will be later on in the night. Okay. Um, right. I'm going to really quickly feed my animals. Because it's obviously... Uh, I don't want them to die or anything. Or be unhappy with me. Then we're straight over to the lake temple. To see if we can get a gator guard that I could have sworn. I'm so glad I checked the computer. I'm not even picking the eggs up though. Nothing's happening. I'm not gonna bother um, taking the wool off them, anything like that. We're just gonna feed. That will be it. Feed and go. Just so they don't starve. I need all the time I can to get these rainy day spring fish. Because there's rather a lot of them that I don't already have, which is fantastic. I know I can't finish the collection, you know, too quickly, but how am I doing for space? I basically have none. So what's going to happen is space is going to be made by me being completely irresponsible and throwing things where they don't belong. Except for the monkfish and the fireflies can go in donations because that's where they belong as well. And I put flowers in monster loop. That's how desperate I am for time today. I don't know how many rainy spring days I'm going to get, so... Um, I'm hoping that I will be able to get a jellyfish at some point as well. There's no point in worrying about insects particularly on a rainy day though. All right, let's go. I want two gator girls and a snake head. Once I've got those, I can move on. Well, you were a feisty one. Red snapper? Oh, come on. And then catfish later on. Oh, please don't tell me I'm catching trash. That's the worst. Come on, snake head. We don't have long to get that. Oh, now you're more like it. Oh, you're a koi, okay. Mm. 
At least I've got all day to do the Gator Gar. The snake head, not so much. Oh, come on, give me the things I need. <laughs> I'm really upset now that I won't get a snake head. I don't want to be waiting for that till next spring. This is certainly a different pattern on it. A tilapia. Are you kidding me? Am I in the wrong place or something? I could have sworn it was the lake. Well, no snakehead today then. Let's hope we get some more rainy days in spring. We're only on the third day though, so I'll hopefully get more chances. But this is awful. I needed to be over here at six in the morning though to do it. Like, and I was in the wrong place and I should have checked the computer. That's my own fault. I'll try and get me a catfish later though. Another tilapia. I feel like going back to the farm and checking. I'm in the right place. Yeah, okay, I'm going I'm going back to check the computer again, like just in case I'm I've got something wrong about this. This doesn't feel right. At all. Because if it's the town river or something and I was just clicking on the wrong thing, then I am in the wrong place. And that could waste the entire day if I don't double check it. So let's just check. Temple Lake. Gator Gar, Gator Gar, Koi Tilapia, Salmon. And some red snapper, so I've caught everything else except for that. But yeah, those are before 12 o'clock. And then the catfish will be in the estuary. Where's the catfish going to be? I'm sure I saw a catfish. Oh, I am so confused. Uh, we'll be in the rice field? Is that the only place it is? The Forest River. I'll go and get it in the Forest River. You also get Gator Gar in the Forest River in the early day. But you get them all day. Oh, and the snakehead comes back at night. Okay, after six. Twelve till four. I don't have much time left at all. So... Let's hope we have more than one rainy day. That was a waste of an hour going back to check, but I just, I was having such poor luck. I was just like, really? Is it really not gonna come? This feels like another tilapia. Give me a gator go! I'm not amused right now. My luck is atrocious. This feels like another tilapia. What's oh, a salmon? Still. Oh, we've got an hour. Please. Please. It's the only fish I've been looking for this whole time. Oh, come on. 
keep going and see if I can get a snake head. Um, this is so annoying. It's trash again. Just give me one of the new fish that I am supposed to be able to get. I don't think I've ever had such poor luck in my life. Salmon. Maybe a snake head will come out. I don't know. I'm extremely sad about this. If I can get a snake head, I'll immediately move up to the forest river and try and get a catfish as well, but... Sometimes you get two days of rain in a row. Oh, this one's different. It's going around in a circle. Well, maybe that'll be lucky for me. Circle fish. No, it's a red snapper. Well, I'm mean, catching all the fish I'm getting. It's just I need to get the right one. And it does not want to come out. Does not want to come out to play at all. So um, at the moment, I think uh, the Gator Gar window of opportunity is gone. But I think I might still be able to get a snake head in the evening. So I'm going to keep trying. I hate things when they're weather dependent because you never know when you're going to get another rainy day. You can spend the whole day fishing and not get what you need. I've done well for insects, so... At least I'll have plenty of fish to sell. Oh, come on. I'm going to move over here. I'm not having any luck over there. Maybe closer to the goddess will be lucky. I am not particularly amused by this, though. Yes, it's a tilapia. Yes, I know. Very, very good. Wonderful. So happy about that. More trash. But this is what I need to do on these sorts of days. Like when there is fish to get and it is a rainy day, you need to go get them. I think this is like a red snapper. Yep. And it says it's here. <laughs> I thought as soon as we got a rainy day, we'd have this thing, but nope. 
super unimpressed. Well, this one's certainly feisty. <gasps> but some of the fish are. at all. Yes! We finally got the snake head! Right, to the forest cavern. Let's see if we can get a catfish as well. I think we're beyond the point in the day where we can get a gator guy. I think you need to be here, um, either here early. Oh, God, let me round so I can fish. It's like midnight now. I could try one or two catches and see if I manage to get a catfish, but... <sighs> Next time we have a rainy day, I'm not even going to care if my animals will die. Let's... <laughs> I need these fish, okay? I need them. I don't care if I pass out. I don't care if my animals die. I don't care about anything. I just care about the fish. I do, really. I'd be really sad if my animals died. Well, you don't look much like a catfish. And yet you are one. Wonderful. Um, no, oh, how to get out of here? <laughs> Go home, and we'll see if tomorrow is another rainy day, or if we have another dry day. Spring does have quite a lot of rain, right? It's meant to. I've got a load of things to donate to the museum now as well, but I, like I say, I'm just going to throw everything in chests until. Until I have a bit more time. That doesn't sound very rainy to me. No, it's another totally dry day. So today will be a day to like organize and stuff and then hope. <sighs> Was there a weather forecasting chip on this computer that I could get? I'm sure I got all the chips I could. And I don't think weather forecasting was one of them. I'm sorry, Lindy. I've been really busy lately. I know. I'm really sorry. So the one thing I need to do today is to go to the beach. Well, actually, no, two things. Let's take all the bits and bobs to the museum that I need to take to the museum. So let's take the monkfish and the snakehead and the catfish and the fireflies and then we'll go to the beach and we'll put down some flying traps and see if we can catch some moths down there although actually i'll come back and i'll double check that the beach area is actually the right area for them why am i here no we're, we're, it's not here yet it's here but four more things for the museum it, it doesn't hurt does it I think we're getting really close on the fish now. That is 282 things in the museum now. Cool. Collection reward. Oh, I somehow got a wind gem. For my wind gem hat. Nice. So we're still going on the earth and the fire though, sadly. I wonder when that happened. So on gems, we're only emitting three. I can promise you that'll be a red barrel. I don't know what those two will be. Um, insects, we are missing six. Fish, we are missing eight. 
two of them are sharks. I'm missing five critters. Um, ten, sixteen artifacts, three vintage artifacts. And 20 fossils. This is gonna be a big thing to do, but I think we'll get it done. We've got a year to like try and start finishing these things off. Or, or as long as I need, actually. It doesn't have to be a year, does it? But we managed to catch the monkfish. We didn't manage to catch the jellyfish. So it'll be a case of going down to the beach today. Oh, I could get my my reward, couldn't I? Hmm. Saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did. We got the collection reward. Maybe if I get put all the hats together, they can turn into like a transformer and I'll have the, the, the ultimate giant hat or something. So I want to just double check the farm. And make sure that the beach is where I'm going for that, this moth that I need. And double check the jellyfish locations. And then also... We are going to need to look under the sea. Was I right in thinking under the sea there was only one thing I needed? Oh yeah, there was two things I needed, but they're both... Um, chambered Nautilus and a horseshoe crab. They're both in this area. But I've got everything else. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So two of my five missing sea creatures are here. And then the rest, I figure, will be coming up at other times of the year or something. So what I probably should do is find out exactly which region they're in. Because you can online. And then put some floating traps around there to try and grab them. Um. Oh yeah, sorry. Jellyfish. Yeah, Yucca Moth is on the beach, 100%. I just need to put my flying traps down there. There's nothing else, is there? No, 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 no. Perfect. So, beach for the flying traps, and then let's go to the fish. And I'm pretty sure it's only jellyfish, and they're at the lighthouse after four. make sure there's nothing else so then it really is just just now the gator gar on a rainy day what i might try doing is going to the forest river in the morning and then maybe over to the temple lake in the afternoon next rainy day we have i'm doing nothing else okay so let's go to the beach and then uh, at four o'clock, we'll go down to the lake. So if I go down to the beach now, I'll come back, I'll do my animals and stuff. And then we'll, from four o'clock onwards, try and fish up a jellyfish. Yeah, I didn't have a clue where any of my traps were though. <laughs> I was like, where's all the traps? I don't know where they are. So quite often you find one around here somewhere. And then I'm gonna put one like a little bit further down as well. That trap's useless, hasn't caught a thing. That one and that one always catch the same things. Okay, that's fine by me. Uh, has my insect house been built yet? I'll have to have a quick look at that. Might take a few days. It was nice of Eleanor to give that to me, though. I've got a lot of fish to sell as well. I'm not going to be keeping any of that. So let's uh, sell those. I could breed fireflies. I could breed all these bugs. Probably one bug that will be like the most expensive bug. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can put like 10 of them in there. All right, I'll stick those guys in and wait for it to breed. Sounds good to me. Yeah, but like I say, there'll be one that'll be the most expensive one, and that'll be, that'll be the ideal one to go for. Yes, I am a bit sad that we don't yet have a Gator Gar. I don't want to be doing that. There's all the hay. In fact, you guys can go outside today, can't you? Because there's totally like grass in here for you to eat. Um, that I totally got. Okay, let's go and find Sam and just get so many grass starters because they're going to be so much happier. And I have way more chance of getting the Gesher coffee bean if we've got that sorted. So that is another thing I can do. And I don't, I've got so much money. I don't need to worry about how much, how many grass starters we need. Throw me a daisy. Okay, fine. I don't know how many days I've got left on the plum I'm meant to be giving to Sam. Let's have a look at my journal. Oops. I think that we maybe missed that one. Uh, sorry, Sam. Yeah, I am looking for the most profitable seeds. But actually, I am not because... I actually just want... Can I upgrade my bag? I better not be able to upgrade my bag, I tell you that right now. Okay. What I need is a grass starter, please. Times like a million. Oh, it's a fertilizer too, will do. Stick that on my cauliflowers if I can. Uh, they might not have. Oh yeah, but I can't remember. Do you know what I'm gonna do then? Because I was a silly billy. So what we can do is we can get some more cauliflower seeds. And we'll fertilize them all with fertilizer too. And that way we'll make sure we have plenty of cauliflowers for the harvest festival. And I need to double check like what what's the good stuff for get lots. I can plant them down and I know that it's all going to be fine. And they will not be hungry and I don't have to go in and feed them every single stupid day. I can just let them outside with one ring of a bell. That'd be so much better. Auto feeder by next winter though. <laughs> I hopefully will have finished the game by next winter though. I'm very hopeful for that. Make you a nice field. If you underdo it, with the amount of animals I've got, if I underdo it with the amount of grass starters, then the field will have no chance of actually being decent at all. Um, because they will eat it before I can really grow it to any decent amount. And it, they, yeah, it just gets ridiculous. So let's let them all outside. It's 11.30 right now. We need to be down at the docks by four. Um, snowdrop honey, fairy rose honey, blue dahlia honey. This can all be sold, can't they? And then let's see. I think some of these animals need tending to as well properly. So I may as well, while I've got the chance. And there's a chance this little lemur will actually get me a coffee bean today. I'll be able to see whether my assertion that uh, it doesn't need to be. That it just needs to be let outside. Look how many there are. They're so they look so cool outside because I've gotten so many since uh, 
since winter time and they've been stuck in all winter and now they get to roam free because it's springtime. It's wonderful. Okay. Uh, actually, it can go on the honey production line. Oh, it looks like it's doing beer at the moment as well. Nice. Oh, the goat needs milking. Well, the goat can wait. I probably will sell the wine. I don't see any reason to not do that. Uh... No, as a present. I'm going to keep the hats, though. The hats are cool. Uh, oh yeah, I could take that over to the lab, couldn't I? There's rather a lot of stuff in here that shouldn't be in here. But I'm going to pretend I didn't see it. And I'm going to put down another field of cauliflowers as well. And I'm going to fertilise them with fertiliser too. And if one of them doesn't come out, I'll me and I'll cry. And then we really do need to get to Ling's place so that we can get some more automation and things done. But I tend to be more like relaxed in once I've caught everything for the season. At the moment, I'm not feeling very relaxed at all about it. Oh yeah, it has to be seeds. Okay, fine. I can clog up my inventory for a bit longer then. And let's head out to the fishing spot. Actually, let's head to the beach and see if anything's been caught in the flying traps first. And then we'll go get some jellyfish at the lookout, hopefully. Nope. Bit much to hope for, because it's been quite... Hasn't been very long, but also I should have my net out just in case I find one naturally. You know, just flying around the place. Doing its little yucca moth thing, but no, apparently not. Not seeing any butterflies at the moment at all, so that's fine. I will get it. I got one last year. And now I've got traps that are for flying insects. It should be a bit easier. If it exists, then I'll get it. Um, so I'm not going to get anything till four. What am I wanting to do next in this? I, I did want to go to Ling's lab, didn't I? We could probably do that before four. Check on weather chips and things if there's any way to tell the weather. Let's have a look. Develop equipment. Catching, fishing, foraging. That was it. Automation. Ultimate scarecrow. 19 by 19. That's what we need. Trash collector for the sea. I do want one of those eventually. Temperature machine. Ultimate kelp essence and scrap. And I get an auto SFH. But what you want to have before you put that in, there can be bugs and things for taking them on and off. And, and you know, if you accidentally take the um, sprinkler up with it still attached, it can be a bit annoying. So you want to probably just have your final layout just kind of sorted by the time you do that. So let's have a little look at developing equipment. No, sorry, not development equipment, um, upgrading the produce quality. And I want to know... Yep, enough to do the saplings. Wonderful. So now I've just got to do the Osmium upgrades for the saplings and the seedlings. 
Probably need about 15 osmium essence for that. Or so. And that will be perfect. Right, let's head back down to the lookout now. So we should be able to start catching jellyfish from now onwards. Oh, almost perfect timing, actually. Just turned four. All right, off we go. Jellyfish, go. Hopefully we've been in a really good place for restarting, but I'm going to keep doing episodes of this until the Gator Gar is caught. That is the point where the end of that episode will be the last one until 1.1 comes out. It doesn't hurt to keep going through this spring. I can always do spring of year four if we need to do something particularly in the spring. I want to get all these fishes. All the different types of fish. And I need to make sure that when it's a, an altar fish, although it's only one left that that will be the case for now, but when it's an altar fish, I've got to be really careful and make sure I catch two of them. So that will be the case with the Gator Gar, and then after that we're just doing museum donations. And if I could finish, if I could maybe finish the gem one or something like that, the extra 40 points would get me so much closer to the A grade that I want. Because I know that when the patch comes in, it's going to kind of want me, it's going to expect me almost to be at an A grade. And then give me certain other things I can do. Um, so there'll be quests and things. I and mean, I've noticed that the library doesn't have any books in it. So I wonder whether that would be something for the museum. You'd be able to go and get the library's book collection sorted for an S rank or something. I don't really know. I'm getting a lot of box fish right now. I'm almost certain it was the... That was a really hard to catch mackerel. Come on, jellyfish. We managed everything else except the gator gar. I was so, so expecting to get one as well. It was just incredible, incredible poor luck that I didn't. My luck is not exactly great right now with this, uh, this jellyfish. Wow. Must be super rare. I know I'm not going to be very lucky with the underwater things either. So I really need to get onto those, but I want to get the fish first. Don't scare the fish away. <laughs> oh no. You confused me with your boat. That better not have been a jellyfish on the line there. That's mackerel patterns, I think. <gasps> it's a jellyfish! Yay! Let's go put that in the museum then. So now, unless there's any odd ones that come up, we should be good. I did have a list. Ah, here we are. A list of all the fish that I still needed, okay? So, we still needed a jellyfish, but we got that now. We still needed a monkfish, but we have that now. We still needed a snake head, but we have that now. And we needed a catfish, but we had that now. So we are now missing the great white shark, um, the giant snake head, the brown trout, the yellow moray, and the giant sea bass. So it should be missing 
Uh, oh, and the Raja and Pat Shark. And the Great White Shark. Summer. Giant Stingray. Red King Arowana. Giant Snakehead. Brown Trout. Yellow Maurice. Giant Sea Bass. So, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six missing. Does that tally up with this? And then two, and then two sharks missing. So let me see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven missing. Huh. And two sharks. Why are seven missing? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm only seeing six. There's got to be something else that I'm missing then. Ooh. Okay. Insects, we are still missing six. Critters, we're still missing five. Two of which are available right now, three of which are not. Okay. Have a quick look at my journal then. Trying to work this out. So, port. One, two, three, four, five, six. Depends if the sharks count or not. There's a few that we don't have, like the um, giant eel, the and the sea bass, wherever that's gone. Um, so those two are extras that haven't been donated. Yeah, so according to this, it's six. Don't know then. So I'm on 62. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7. So unless the fish collection includes the sharks, but I can't tell if it does or not until I get a shark and hand it in and it increases the fish and the shark collection at the same time. If that's the case, then what it might be is that it'll allow you not to worry about the arowana or something. Don't know. But I'm still short by quite a bit. We're not even at a B level. Even a B would be happy with that. All right, let's go to bed and see if we get a rainy day again. And then if I do, I'll see if I can have more luck on that day. I will happily skip a feeding day for the animals if it means I can go and fish for the arowana. Uh, not the arowana, sorry. If I can go and fish for the uh, gator gar. I would happily. I would happily throw away all my crops for that right now. Fishing level 8. Wonderful. I'm so happy. <sighs> okay. Find a day we have in today, then. A sunny day. Wonderful. So I need. To, I think what I need to do is start uh, looking under the water for things. Yeah, I'm still missing a few things on the beach, actually, aren't I? I'm missing like one thing. Not that it really matters. Not that I should be worried about that. But I think now all the fish are gotten, so we don't need to worry about fish. We just need to worry about the beach 
And then what's under the water on a sunny day? I think we're fine. Okay, nice. That is absolutely fine. Um, so we need to go down to the 40 meter area and just have a look around. Maybe clean it up a bit as well. And I want to have a quick look on the beach and see if the yucca moth has fallen into either of my traps. So let's go and do that first, I think. Just going to have a quick look. Why, hello. Oh, a pond. I've been watching your progress and I must say your fishing skills are outstanding. I'm so glad you accepted our welcoming gifts when you first moved to the island to help you level up even more and sending you another special gift, a fish pond. With this pond, you'll be able to breed fish and continue to increase your skills. Ah. Go next to my insect house over here. I think. Fish pond. Lovely. More pink diamonds for me. Oh, can I like... Oh, I put two back in and do I get to now duplicate that up to four? Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe I just keep this diamond. I'll stick it in donations. What I could do is uh, crack open some dinos. Um, I certainly haven't been doing any of that lately. Is that a Friday? Yeah. And what I haven't done lately either, because I've been really obsessive about getting all the fish and things. I haven't been up here and grabbed all the geodes and, and dinosaur fossils and things. Which is kind of important to try and do. What kind of moth are you then? An, a, a mothy moth, apparently. Just quickly grab these. And then we're gonna really start, unless it's a rainy day, we'll be under the water looking for things. The fact I've only got one area to worry about, it makes it a slightly easier. I'm not sure what to do about trapping the area, so I think I might need to do a bit more research on that first. Okay. Oh yeah, I was wanting to get these so that I could upgrade my house as well. festival coming up soon as well aren't we if it's on a rainy day i'll miss it i'm genuine i'm genuinely not going to go and do a festival that i've done twice already when i've not got a certain fish that i need to complete the catch altar right then i feel like i'm gonna need to do another episode it's making me feel a bit you know a bit oh, come on I've just got this one thing I need to do, I want to do by the end. And it's not happening for me. And this is why we need to check these traps, just in case a fly ends up in it. Oh, that's another tiger beetle. And another centipede. But no butterflies flying around, sadly. check another time maybe I have seen them sometimes like up here here that's a fly I'll catch it to get it out of the way but no that doesn't seem very useful at all so I'm gonna head down to the um, 40 meter area and I'm gonna start cleaning it up a bit I'm just making sure that there's there's room for things you know if I find the thing I need great if not then fine too
I know that's not the thing I need. <laughs> well, this uh, trash hook is certainly a lot better. Okay, so whereabouts are we needing to be? So it looks like I think it ends there. So we want to go up here, down around here, down around here, up into that area at the top there. And just see what I find. Cleaning up as I go. It's not terrible down here. There's a little bit of respawn of trash. That's a seahorse. We don't need a seahorse. thing I need is really specific. At the moment it, I believe it's a chambered nautilus because we're in the day and then it'll be the um, stingray looking thing at night. Mm. Yeah of course it is. Full of fossils. I right. Okay. So what's happening with my inventory right now is that my brain is getting too full of ideas of things I want to do. I'm getting too overexcited about it, and then I'm not doing the things that I'm meant to be doing. So how about we go back to the farm, sort my inventory out a little bit, get those fossils done. Like my chests are all a mess as well because I've just been running around. I'm so like focused. Get stuff done, get stuff done. All of those are fish I've already had. Um, I'll put away the mist oh, and the flies and insects and stuff. I might, no, I'm not even going to worry about duplicating the tiger, tiger beetle. I'm going to sell all of this. I know. I know it's stuff I might need, but I really don't care right now. Okay. And then... Let's go over to Ling's lab quickly. Open up the fossils and then we'll go and have more of a look for isopods and things and clearing out that 40 meter area so that I can keep looking for them. We're doing pretty well though. The only thing that I think we really need to get fish-wise is the gator guard. The only thing that I think we really need to get, like, insect-wise is that yucca moth. We only need 20, so I'm probably going to have a lot of duplicates. And we'll get to a point where there'll just be loads of stuff that we don't have and we're going to just have to keep trying and trying and trying until we get them. Okay, to the museum then. See if any of those catch. Or we could just go to the farm and just sell them straight away and not even check. No, let's not do that. Nice, five of them. 15 to go, I think. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my farm, I'll quickly stick these in the cell chest. Lovely. 
And then we'll go back and do the rest of them or some of the rest of them if I can. And then we'll head down and just see, see, uh, yeah, like I say, just gonna clear the area up and just see if we can find the things under the water. Then when we get another rainy day, we'll go and try and find that gator gar. Three stone in a row, are you kidding me? Many, many duplicates. Maybe one of these things, though, will be one of the 15 things I need. Yeah, I never know. I'm not really looking at what they are at the moment. As I get more towards the end of the collection, and we might be doing that a bit more. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do yet another episode. Because I don't think we're getting the rainy day, so we might have to do quite a lot of spring, sadly. All right, then. We got quite a bit done there, so we'll go back to the museum. Uh, sell, then sell anything that doesn't belong in the museum. And then once I've got it all done, we can go and see what the dinosaurs look like, you know? Right, uh, donate item. We got two things. Which considering isn't too bad. So collection rewards on the fossils. Now we have 13 things left to get. Okay. Insects, we'll be able to get that up to 48 out of 53. Critters, we might be able to get that up to 42. And fish, we'll be hopefully get up to 63. <sighs> and then we'll be back to looking for gems for the gem collection. Then we'll be really going hard on the artifacts. And I expect there'll be rarer ones that we don't have yet. Um, so... And while I'm looking for, like, the fossils just come wherever I'm going, so that is absolutely fine. Um, honestly, the stone and stuff, really, really don't care. Right, back to the lab. Let's do the last set, last set of them, and see if we manage to get anything more. I'm just gonna keep going with this, and eventually the hard work will pay off. I hope. Surely we must already have a full pterodactyl by now. Okay. Go see if any of those were new, and if they weren't, then we'll sell them. Um, the more we hand in, the less likely it is that we're going to find new things. One more insect for our collection. 
<laughs> That's all the insects now for spring done. So that'll just be the summer and the autumn ones. And then we should be finished. <laughs> but that was actually the only thing. All the rest can be sold. Okay. And then we need to go down into the ocean and see if we can find things down there. So let's go over to the farm. Sell all of the bones. And then we're back down to the 40 meter area. That'll do. And see what we can find. Can we find anything that looks interesting. Probably doesn't hurt to get gold kelp essence, although actually it's the osmium that we need the most at the moment. of running around the place trying to make it as clean as possible at the moment because uh, the cleaner it is the more likely you'll be able to see things they won't be in the way and I think that things can also hide in the trash what's that a razor clam you are not one I need I'm actually surprised at how neat this has stayed since I last came around and tidied it all up. I would have thought there'd be way more trash to like try and get. So we're at half past five now, so I think we are looking for the like stingray looking thing. Do I see anything that looks like a stingray? And you need to tell me. Ooh, like that thing. Okay, come towards me, little dude. Chambered Nautilus. Hang on, that was meant to be the daytime thing. Loving the Osmium net, by the way. Now we've got all night to find the other thing, I think, anyway. And if we don't find it, I won't be too upset because obviously we found some. We were very lucky with finding that thing. Extremely lucky. It basically walked up to me and said hi. Okay, so where are we at the moment? We're in this sort of area here, so we need to do this area and up around here. While keeping an eye out for various sea creatures. I'd be very happy if I could get the two undersea things as well. I mean, we've got an awful, we did get an awful lot of things today, just not the one thing that I needed for the altars. Kind of a little bit frustrating, that. Okay, so where can we go now? Down there. That's going back. So let's uh, go this way, I think. You are a seahorse that I already have.
But yeah, I just really want to find all the stuff as much as I can early in the uh, in the season, so I don't have to worry about like, oh, the season's gonna end and I'm not gonna have the thing, and I'm gonna have to hold, do a whole other year, get back into spring of that year again, la la la. Things going into year three isn't so bad. That's another seahorse. is looking a lot better isn't it okay so uh didn't find him there so maybe we'll head down into this sort of area around here as long as i'm still seeing gold kelp that is a lobster split colored lobster i think i've had that one before but i it looked interesting so i thought i'd catch it Found a fossil note. Oh, very interesting. So down here, are we into? Oh no, we're still in that layer. Okay. I have to be very careful with my mermaid dash, because uh, if I get my mermaid dash and I come down there and I frighten away. One of these things, uh, I will be very unimpressed. Especially worrying when you're going down the way, like this. Seahorse area, I think. It is getting late, okay, well. I can just get out of here with my anchor, I guess. Um, should we go via the museum just in case I accidentally do something with this? I think we should. I think even if that means I don't have as much stamina tomorrow, I think it's kind of important that we put that chambered Nautilus into the museum. I'll have a quick look at the computer as well, then I'll be like, what was that? Was I supposed to catch that at like five o'clock in the evening? Chamber of Nautilus. Ocean Critter. Lovely. And then I think we're at the end of the episode and we still don't have the gator. Gah! Can't believe how far into spring we're getting to not finding this thing. It's kind of crazy. The other thing I should do before the end of the day is get rid of anything. I'm just going to sell things because I want to get rid of anything that's clogging up my inventory. Because if I wake up in the morning, and I know I could get more for these things if they were scavenger, if they were made. I have no room in my cell box. Okay, well, no more room in the cell box then. So, yeah, we ran out of cell box room. <laughs> I'll sell anything else today. So let's go to bed. Um, we're getting there with the museum. It's going to suddenly jump up hugely. Level 10 diving, wonderful. 13,000. 10,000 worth of other stuff. 10,000 worth of random... <laughs> random bones. So there we are. That is that. That's the Gator Gar still not found. I'm so, so upset about that. But I guess that's okay. We'll work around it. So yeah, Gator Gar still not found, but we will try. It's raining outside. 
Do I extend the episode to see if we can do it? We do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to extend the episode to see if we can do it. Sell all this gunk. Actually, not hardwood, please. just don't care enough not at the moment anyway I like under other circumstances I would um, I can always go and get those things again if I need them but right now I need space to fish with okay let's go and look on the computer before I make any mistakes about this about what is available today I believe I have everything else So Gator Gar will be available until 4 o'clock up at the Forest River. And there are only four things you can get up there, so you're more likely to find it. Whereas the Temple Lake, there's all these things. There's six things you can find, so yeah. And then it's only available till 4. Okay. Uh, is it the only thing that we've got? I think so. Catfish, we got the um, snake head. Yes, it is literally the gator guard. It was the only thing left that we didn't have. So, if I could not have to do a whole other episode for it, I would be quite happy. So, I don't mind extending this one by like 15 20 minutes to see if we can get it finished off. So, let's go and just fish in the lake and see. In the river, sorry, and see what we get. There are four different things we can get here right now. So it gives us a much higher chance to get a Gator Gar here than anywhere else. I doubt this is one. It's not difficult enough to catch for that. till four o'clock to get it. A coffer, very nice. I don't get many coffers, like just standard coffers, so it's quite nice when I do get them. Okay, well that one was slightly interesting. That was a crab. Stand all day and fish if I have to. The zebra fish. Zebra fish, crab, gator gar and something else I think. Must be the things here. seems promising. Yep. Right, so we carry on because we need one for the museum as well. So I will keep going and see if we can catch two. If we can only catch one, that's fine. I'll try and catch another one on the next rainy day because it is the only literal thing left that we've got to try and get. This might be another one, you never know. It's very, very squiggly. Yay! Right. One for the museum, one for the goddess. Perfect. Oh, was expecting to have to record an entire other episode for this, but no, we can go and open whatever needs opening. I may even go to bed 
So if something opens up from the goddess that we can do, we can do it, you know. We can look at it and marvel in its wonder. So that, my friends, is the catch altar finished. That will really push the town rank. Unlocked fish pond. <laughs> Unlocked stick site. It might be an overnight thing, you see. So I've got another. I've got two fish ponds now. Wonderful. We can breed all the fish we ever want. So now I need an osmium cactus. Okay. We haven't had cacti yet. We need Cerebi, Ez Sendol, and Vegan Tacos. And we need a Gesha, large Gesha coffee bean. So that will just come along as the the Lima gets to like me better and gets to spend time outside and la la la, that will be fine. That will just happen. These I, I'm going to look up probably at the beginning of um, next time. I'll sit with a little list of the ingredients I need for those. And that, I will just wait until it's ready. But, let's head over to the museum and stick the Gator Guard in the museum. I said the Gator Guard was the last thing that I'm going to need to put in the museum that I'll need to catch two of. Um, I should have done that with the Moray Eel and the Giant Sea Bass, but I was silly and I didn't. So now we only have about six or seven different fish to do. I will rewrite my fish list out and I will write exactly when they're due um, in. I'll put them in order of spring, summer, autumn, winter. It'll probably just be summer and autumn actually, to be honest. I think we have all the winter and spring fish now. So I think these are all summer and autumn fish. So donate, Gator Gar. get any collection rewards or anything like that so we are now on fish 63 out of 69 we apparently have six to go four five six seven eight nine six to go i don't know what those six actually are um that red king arowana that is going to be an absolute nightmare i want to have every part of that written out of exactly what I need to do to get it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping the sharks count, but I think I've miscounted something. Something somewhere in that fish collection is miscounted, definitely. Because, like, the gems all add up. I'm missing three. That's easy. Pretty sure the insects all line up. Pretty sure the fossils all probably line up. Well, I don't know, actually. But why don't we... Just this once. Just this once, because I'm excited, right? I think that this thing here is going to unlock this basement -y thing. I think I can go in here now. But I don't think I can yet. So I think I might need to go to sleep. And then it might happen after that. So what, what do you say... I got a peacock feather yesterday. Wonderful. I haven't had those in ages. They sell. They sell really well. And a truffle. And a and a geisha coffee bean. Not a large one yet though, because um, my little dude. So that does answer the question. Geisha co coffee beans happen in that way. They just get. They just get put on the ground. So let's get some hay in the trough. If I've got any. Where's all my hay gone? Have I accidentally sold all the hay or something? Well, the way to get some would be to run around my farm and find any grass that's grown around here. Oh, huh. What are those? Durian. But apparently no grass has grown. So, waha. 
Um, let's see if I can find it. I'd probably put it in a chest somewhere. I was just dumping things into chests to try and sort things out. Yeah, there we are. I'll make oil out of the truffle. The Gesha coffee bean I could maybe make into some kind of coffee. I'll just sell the feather though. And the fish. I'll put the copper into the donations box. And I'll maybe put my new fish pond down. Fish pond number two, apparently. Good little use for that bit behind the barn, huh? And let's go and feed the animals. And once I've done that, I'll be happy enough to go to bed. And see if anything happens overnight. Usually that's what happens when you have, like, rewards. And I want to see what the reward is for this. It's taking me ages to get that catch also. And it's taking me a lot of blood, sweat and tears, you know? So yeah, it won't be too long on that coffee bean. We'll finish the ranching products one. Uh, cooking one. They're all in bad moods because I'm guessing they didn't get too... They haven't been too well fed and stuff lately. Um, I will I will change that though. Oh, so the other thing that I could do is to try and see... Seeing as I've now caught all the fish and all the insects for the season. I could go and see if I can finally catch that chambered nautilus. Chambered Nautilus. I caught that. Um, it's... The... Horseshoe Crab. Six o'clock onwards. And we're at three o'clock. Let me just look up a Horseshoe Crab then. One second. Coral Island. Horseshoe Crab. There we are. Let's see where that one lives. It's an unnamed area one and unnamed area three. Oh, I'm so, I'm so super glad that um that those those are the areas it's in. Wonderful. Okay, let's have a look. Um, unnamed area one and three. A diving map because I did have a diving map but it's not for this area for, not for the 40 meter area let's see if I can find one that does the 40 meter area as well this one does let's have a look at it where is it it's taking me back to the wiki page there we are no it's not that one Oh, that one. It's that one. Lovely. Okay, let's see. I can barely see. Mm. Okay, so zone one and zone three. Right, okay. Let's just resume the game. Um, I'm going to just go in here. So, 40 meter area one is this one. And 40 meter zone three is this one. So we need to basically be in this area to find a horseshoe crab after 6 p.m. at night. So let's see if we can do that. I need to pass some time somehow, don't I? Should I? Maybe, like, I don't know. Harvest my daisies. Walter wanted one, didn't he? Maybe we could take one to Walter. 
I really wanted to get this thing at the beginning of the episode so I didn't have to like wait until night time. But I do want to try and do something with my time as well. Uh, where would I even find Walter? There is an NPC finder, isn't there, on here? So let's just go and find him. And then give him the daisy. Find NPC. It's in the manor. Okay. Do that before I put the daisies into the uh, honey chest. Don't have to worry about the scaring the insects anymore. They should be all fine. You in here, Walter? Oh. Of course there's a cutscene. I never come in here. She lab, it's you. Thanks for stopping by. You're one of the few people who do, it seems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always stopped by. Back in Pokio, I was something of a big shot. Did you know that? Big city lawyer, that was me. Contracts, collections, litigation. People booked months in advance for five minutes of my time. But out here, I guess we just don't see as many people as we used to. We have dinner parties, of course. We're not heathens. I've seen you at them, right? Sure, those dinner parties I totally remember going to. Right, talk of the town, I have no doubt. It's just that, well, after the parties are over, nobody seems to want to keep in touch of their own accord. You know, just to check in, see how we're doing, maybe catch a game or something. Oh, I have all the sports channels, you know. 77-inch plasma TV, surround sound. When you watch a game, you can practically smell the peanuts. But Bree doesn't go in for that sort of thing, and Luke's busy in his shop, and... Walter's lonely. You're going to make me say it, aren't you? That's okay. I'm lonely, she lab. I just don't really feel like I'm part of the community here. But I'm not something... Sorry, but I'm nothing if not a man of action. This is a problem that's easily solved. I just need to participate more in community events, that's all. But he's at them all. First stop, the tavern. Always a good place to catch up with all the latest going, local goings on. Yeah. You go, Walter. I don't think actually that Bree helps with Walter's sociability. You can see yourself out, right? Right. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, come back. I need to give you your daisy. <laughs> well, that was the wrong room I ended up in, but okay. There's Luke. I think Walter was supposed to be around here somewhere. There's Bree. So everyone but... Everyone but Walter. See, look, Randy came to see you. It's not all bad. Have my worst daisy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright then, so now I just head to the, back to the farm I think, uh, actually no, we could head, yeah, back to the farm, we'll stick the daisies into the honey machine, and that tulip apparently, and then I'll head under underwater, go have a look around, and then we'll see what opens up overnight. Sorry this episode's going to be long, but I would rather have one long episode than two more episodes of this, because it... It is dragging now. It's really dragging. And I've now achieved what I want to achieve. I'm really happy with that. But I want to see what the payoff for it is. Because why wouldn't you? Let's take that honey out. Ugh. Oh man, I need to go into the shed now. Because there's all this stuff in my inventory. And that's no good when you're diving. When you're diving, you need a clean inventory. So let's put these in. Yeah. I don't know if that'll make anything. I'm trying my best. Ah. Right, I need to take some stuff out to sell now. I'm mostly putting things in. I'm like running around and put, putting things in here like so that I can get rid of them. Rather than because I want to come and take things out to sell. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, just, just chuck that in there. It'll be fine. Yeah. I'm 
I'm so rich. <laughs> so yeah, when we come back to it, I'll probably finish off the honey conveyor belts. We'll upgrade the house. I'll finish uh, upgrading all my stuff. We'll do the summer and the autumn collections. And everything will be good. Oh man, I forgot to put my llama wool in. Maybe I can stick that in. No, no. There's no room anywhere. I just sort those chests out because I, I have been using them slightly as dump chests. I could do with something that is a dump chest, actually. I really could. So we're looking around for horseshoe crabs. So I'm going to clear these areas out as much as I can. And we want to be going around to the right here. And seeing what we can see. And what we can catch. And hoping that it might be what we want. That's a nice crabby crab. Quite, um unusual but it is something that I've had before we were very much around this oh no I've gone totally the wrong way go this way and here is this right yeah and then we go down into this okay Ah, we were just getting into this area last time. So this is the area we want to look at. I'm going to clean it up as much as I can. And see what I find. And then we'll see what happens in the morning. And like, like I say, it's going to be a huge long episode, but... This will be the last one. Whether or not I find this horseshoe crab. By the time I come back, I may have forgotten where it is. Forgive me if that's the case. It's been a long time since I've needed to do that anywhere. Trying to catch things so that if there is a respawn on them, we might get it. So, yeah, we want to go down into this area. Yeah, I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the, still in the wrong place. Let's have a good look around. Oh no, we're in Osmium layer now. No, that's not right. It's not right at all. No, we needed to be around here. Okay. Cool. Good to know. We do not want to be in Osmium kelp layer. It's definitely a gold kelp layer thing. So it's all around here and down into that area there. Mostly finding hedgehog seahorses at the moment, sadly. That's okay though. I want to put the anchor down here. Actually, mm. no, I don't. I want to put it at the top of the steps. The reason I want to put it at the top of the steps is that the, the thing is guaranteed not to be here. So if you put the anchor at the top of the steps, then you are less likely to land on top of it like I did with the Venus baskets. That was terrible. I was so unhappy about that. Okay, so that's this kind of area all sorted out. And we need to just go down here. And check out this area. 
I might more just have a swim around here than anything else because we are starting to run a bit low on time. And at the end of the day, I am down here to find something, not necessarily to... Okay, let's get into the other area then. This area down here. I'll be down here quite a lot, I imagine. There's a little blue crab down there. How cute. Okay. It might be down here. We've had a lot of luck with things lately, so if it's not... It's not where I think it is, you know, it's fine. I don't understand Shrimpy, but Shrimpy is a new dude that I haven't seen before, so that's cool. I just, what I don't want is to accidentally somehow scare it away. That would make me cry. But I don't think we're going to have any luck with that one today, so let's, uh... I think I will. I'll pull the anchor, it's fine. Let's go home, go to bed, and see what happens overnight. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that uh, whatever is opening up with me doing the catch altar will open up overnight tonight. Otherwise, I will not have time to show it to you. I will have to do another episode, which is what I was like desperately trying to avoid. But let's see. Did I do? Oh my goodness. I had like 40 grand's worth of stuff just stuck in my shed where I'd spent all that time like going after. Please do a thing. Please do a thing. Please do a thing. I didn't do a thing. Open journal to claim reward. Still can't get in there. I'm sure it's supposed to. Um, let me just check. Catch, alter, coral island. Right, let's just double check. If this altar is not completable to 1.1, I'll be so, so, so upset. So. Let me see. So if I complete. Completing two offerings at the second altar will unlock the hillside waypoint. Oh no, it's not implemented! No! However, what that does mean is that if they do implement that as part of 1.1, we will be able to do that. But I think that that is, my friends, where we're going to leave the episode. I am so disappointed with that. So I think that that is going to unlock when 1.1 comes out, maybe? Or maybe even later than that. I know Savannah is coming in with 1.1. And so that's why I really want to get that final one done as as soon as I can once we come back to it. But right, that is it. Coral Island is on hiatus. We managed to get a lot in these like few episodes where I brought it back this week. We managed to get a lot of stuff done. But I think 
that I want to wait for some more story now. So Raphael is our boyfriend now. We, or my boyfriend, character's boyfriend, I guess. Um, the We're into spring. We've caught all of the things we need to catch in spring, bug-wise and insect-wise. We just need to get that horseshoe crab under the water, which shouldn't be too bad now we know where it is. And then we just need to go and dig a whole load of gems and get a whole load of trash and things like that. But that's going to be so much more interesting to do in between all the story elements they're going to put in. So I'm, I'm hoping against hope that we can uh, get into that when it comes out in the next couple of months. So thank you very much for joining me for the Coral Island journey so far. And I hope you'll come back when the patch releases. So hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.